Meghan Markle fans concerned about her jetting off to Morocco with Prince Harry so close to due date. The Duchess of Sussex, 37, will be flying to the African country during her third trimester. Meghan Markle's due date is just around the corner, but she isn't showing any signs of slowing down. Kensington Palace has announced that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are to fly to Morocco towards the end of this month to undertake royal engagements. The couple will arrive in the African country on Saturday, February 23, and will return on Monday, February 25 after two full days of events. The pregnant Duchess, 37, will be in her third trimester at the time and she is predicted to give birth in April, although the palace has just confirmed the baby is due in spring. An April birth would mean it is currently safe for her fly, if she has been given the all-clear by her doctor, which is typically required after 28 weeks. All airlines have their own policy for expecting flyers, but most experts say that pregnant women should not fly after 37 weeks, which is just over eight months pregnant. Royal fans have been quick to pour out their concern for the Duchess, and question whether she should be flying at all. One said on Instagram, Now that she is pregnant me I think that we must let her rest a little. And another commented, I would like to see a slowing down of the pace now. I would like to see her rest a little. But some will full of praise for how Meghan appears to be handling her busy schedule. And one person added, she seems like she's handling her first pregnancy well. And, I guess we'll get a hint when she's 32 weeks when they stop royal engagements. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex's trip is taking place nearly four decades after the Queen visited the country in 1980 in what was described as the tour from hell. The Queen who was 53 at the time, undertook a two-week-long trip to Italy and North Africa. It was her first visit to Morocco and could well be her last, after so many factors are said to have gone wrong. Royal biographer Robert Hardman told The Express that the leader, King Hussein II, had been overly cautious after several assassination attempts, and kept changing the schedule last minute and causing delays. On one of the days, the Queen is said to have been waiting for him alone in the sun for most of the afternoon. A foreign official at the time said, it was a unique state visit and that nothing that had previously been arranged actually took place as arranged. Despite any scheduling problems, the Queen is said to have been fond of King Hussein, and wrote him a letter of thanks after her visit. We are next due to see Prince Harry and Meghan Markle on Tuesday, February 12th when they will visit the Natural History Museum. Meghan last night stunned alongside her husband Prince Harry at the Endeavour Fund Awards ceremony, gushing about how the 34-year-old prince would be the best dad. And Prince Harry joked they were expecting a heavy baby as his wife's bump continues to grow. The newlywed couple, who will move to Frogmore Cottage in Windsor later this year, have already have had a busy start to the year. Meghan attended a string of tours at the start of this year after her first patronages were announced, including two taken over from the Queen herself. Prince Harry will also head to the England and France match at Twickenham Stadium this Sunday. The spotlight again hit the former actress this week when five anonymous pals spoke out to defend her against the lies and untruths that had been shared since she joined the royal family.